Welcome to BeTheBestChiropractor.com website. I'm so delighted to, to have you listening today. I'm Dr. Michelle Wendeling, and today I wanted to talk about notes and documentation, and I know that sounds really exciting, but I wanna talk more about the personal relationship you have with your patients, and that's connection with your notes. I think it's really important that as your patient walk into the room, that you greet them full on. You stand up, you smile, you say hello. So a lot of chiropractors, what I see is they're doing their notes when the patient walks into the room. And what I wanna caution you on is if you look busy, they feel awkward. Have you ever walked into a room and saw someone on their computer and you pause and you're kinda of like, do I, <clears throat> do I say something? Do I not say something? Do I stomp my foot a little bit? Should I come back later? That actually goes through your patient's um, brain when, you walk, when they walk in and see that you're on your computer or taking notes. So make sure you're facing them. Um, what I have is a table that's about, actually about xiphoid process high, um, to be most specific, so that I'm writing my notes facing the door as they walk in, um, getting ready for their adjustment. And I always say, hey, Sally, it's so great to see you. Give me two seconds. Feel free to kick off your shoes and I'll be right with you. So now Sally gets to start telling me about her day and telling me how things are going as I'm finishing up notes um, or starting her note, whatever it is I happen to be doing. But I'm facing her when she comes in the room. So again, just make sure that you're facing them and you're paying attention when they walk in the room. And if you're documenting as you go, which is something you probably should be doing with your soap notes, make sure as you're writing, you're saying to them, okay, so it sounded like it started on Saturday and then flared up a little bit by Sunday afternoon. Is that right? She'll say, yeah. And you go, okay, okay, great. And then you start documenting that or typing it. And as you're doing that, she knows what you're writing. When it's silent in the room and you're looking down and you're writing, again, very awkward feeling. Now, Sally knows you're making your notes. She knows you're paying attention to her case, but she doesn't really know what you're writing. And that's also really awkward. So say it out loud. You know, you don't have to say everything, right? Iliac crest, you know, C2 on the left. You don't have to do that part, but let her know. Okay, so it sounds like the neck pain's getting a lot better. Is that correct? Absolutely. Great. So then write that down and and communicate that with her so that she feels like she's sharing in that moment of your documentation. Um, it'll bring more patient referrals, more patient retention, um, and overall revenue in your office will go up just by changing that little thing in your office. So have fun with that. Find a place where you can stand and face the door that the patients typically come in, greet them with a great big smile, and continue to get your documentation done contemporaneously, right on time, as you should, and have it accurate and thorough. Thank you. Be the best chiropractor for your patients, for your practice, and for yourself. Thanks for watching.